Well, hi there, everybody. Good Thursday morning to meteorologist Travis Klineski here. Now, for many of you that are going to be watching this, it'll be long after the showers and storms are gone. We have ongoing activity across parts of our viewing areas. We, I record this here at 7 o'clock in the morning. Uh, Grand Island and Kearney currently seeing showers and thunderstorms. Hastings is about ready to get those. Uh, you look at future cast, it's a little bit behind here. It's uh, about... Oh, I'd say about 50 miles behind where the actual line of storms is. It really, uh, in in actuality, ranges from about Neely to Grand Island to Holdridge to McCook at this point. So it's about 50 miles behind, but this will continue to advance southeastward through the morning hours. Again, already making its way to the Tri-Cities now, so it's about an hour or two behind, in fact. Should be pushing through the uh, Lincoln area later this morning, mid to late morning hours, and even northern Kansas, even though it's Futurecast is kind of not showing anything for northern Kansas, I think you'll have a chance as well. By the time we get into this afternoon, though, most of us will be just kind of down to uh, isolated showers or weak thunderstorms out there. Not expecting much activity, even though it shows quite a bit on Futurecast. The big question is, are we going to hold on to clouds all day or not? Because that will have a major impact on temperatures later on uh, this afternoon if those clouds do hold tough. As we look at this evening's forecast here, it's still going to keep that small chance of a shower storm going this evening. And then after sunset, that chance really goes down to nothing. And then the other big question tonight is, do we have clouds or not? If we see that thicker cloud cover and that sticks around into tomorrow morning, that will kind of uh, delay the warm-up for tomorrow. Now, with a warm front moving to the northeast, we are going to see a warmer day on Friday, especially if we see a lot more sunshine during the day tomorrow. And that's just kind of the beginning of our warm-up as we see that summertime heat and humidity build in in time for the weekend. Now, the Storm Prediction Center does have a marginal risk of severe weather out for pretty much all of us with a slight risk out towards the west. Um, again, not a great chance of seeing severe thunderstorms for today, but can't completely rule it out. Maybe a couple of stronger storms, but the best chance is associated with the activity we're seeing right away this morning. Your extended forecast, or actually before that we get to your today's forecast, and again, temperatures for many of us may be held down if the clouds hold tough today. Again, those early thunderstorms winding down up to the north, uh, partly to mostly cloudy skies. Otherwise, upper 70s to around 80 degrees. To the west, it's going to be a little bit warmer with a better chance of some sunshine as we see those early storms clear out. Partly cloudy skies, highs into the 80s, near 90 degrees in McCook. To the uh, south here, we're looking at temperatures. I'm going to go with upper 70s in the Tri-Cities with some 80s down to the south. And again, if clouds are really tough, they we, they may hold temperatures down in the low and mid-70s. That's something to watch for. If we can see more sunshine, maybe we can get up into the lower 80s this afternoon in the Tri-Cities area. And then out towards the east, upper 70s and lower 80s. Again, a lot of that hinging on cloud cover. Your chance of rain will last the longest in the eastern parts of the viewing area. Your extended forecast beyond today, early beyond this morning, our chances of rain really go down. Again, a slight chance uh, this afternoon and this evening, and then another slight chance Sunday into Sunday night. The rest of that time going to be mainly dry as we see temperatures well into the 80s, if not even into the 90s. And some of those days in the 90s, there, there's the possibility we end up being warmer than that. Some forecast models are going even hotter uh, than that. We'll see the humidity work back in. So going to definitely feel like a summertime weather pattern, more of a July or August weather pattern as we head through the weekend into the early and middle portions of next week. So there is your forecast for today. Until next time, I'm meteorologist Travis Klineski. Hope you have a great Thursday.